That's a good one, guys. Get it. There he is. There we go. Oh, that's a good fish. That's a good fish, guys. A little bitty piece of shrimp. Very small hook. Oh my goodness. A freaking dolphin is. We got us three dozen little shrimpies. <laughs> hey, Rad Wheelers, JC here with Rad Wheeling Fishing. I'm fishing this pier today. We're going to be bouncing around to some different places, but what I did is I picked up some live shrimp. I have never taken live shrimp on an e bike. I got my rod in here, but we got about three dozen live shrimp. I'm using my new Nacto Ox e bike. This video is sponsored by Nacto Ox. I'm going to tell you a little bit more briefly about that later, but today the goal is to catch keeper mangrove snapper. I know, and a couple of years ago, I saw some people catching keepers right in this area right here i did hear reports that they're catching some big ones out on the end of the pier so i've never done this i've never bounced around with live bait and my e-bike is so cool the bucket fits in there just fine but i did have to put all my tackle and stuff in the bag but it works out great so let's grab all the gear and let's see if we can catch some keepers let's see if we got a small circle hook in here i suppose that one will do right there and I got regular size shrimp. They're pretty small, but hey, almost six bucks a dozen. Uh, fishing with 15 pound test leader. So I always think some of your some of your shallower areas. Like, look at all the bait fish out here. And uh, let's see if we got any snappers down down underneath here. Come on now. Hopefully, we got some snapper snappers. Dude, I, I might have to run back and get my cast net. I cannot afford to pay $17 for shrimp. And she counted them one by one. I mean, I got like exactly three dozen shrimp. That's it. You're not getting anything else. Come on, snapper snappers. Where are you at? Dude, if I threw my cast net on those minnows right there. I'd be Christmas Tree City. I can't believe I have not hooked up with a snapper yet. All this bait right here. Dude, they're not even biting my shrimp. What the heck? Let's come over here. Oh, don't trip, JC. Let's come over here and fish by these rocks. See, possibly right about here. We got anything right in here. Yeah, fishy, 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 fishy. Yeah, fishy, 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 fishy. Come on now. You're kidding. Oh, dude, there's a big snook right here. Big snook cruising the rocks. We might hook up with him. We just might hook up. I just saw him just go cruise right in front of me. Dude, look at that. Something ate half of my shrimp, shrimp, shrimp. And I saw a nice snook cruising by. I've only got 15 pound test leader on here, so I don't know, guys. We'll see. That snook happens to grab it. We might be in trouble. Trouble, trouble, trouble. I'm just free floating the shrimp along the rocks here. Watching my line, just throwing it out there, just reel it in a little bit. Yeah, there's a hit right there. Oh, they got me. They got me. Dang it. I think that's shrimp number three. Holy smokes. Almost 10% of my shrimp are gone, dude. There are some very small pinfish in this area. I got some little bitty hooks. We put on some little hooks. We could probably catch some nice little pinfish that would be good for snappers. Actually, I am going to freaking do that, dude. I am. These little guys keep stealing my uh, stealing my shrimp. I only got three dozen shrimp, so if I can use a shrimp to catch three or four pinfish, I think the pinfish will last longer. So let's get out the little hooks. I've got a 
several videos on how to catch pinfish. I'll link them in the description area. Basically what I've done here, I put a small bell sinker on the bottom and then I came up about six inches and I tied a very, very small, it's a long shank hook. Long shank hooks are best for pinfish. That's a little bitty hook. So let's go catch us some baits. So, and these little guys are not very far out here. So shouldn't take but just a second to get hooked up. And there he is. Look at that. Oh, dude, look at that. Is that perfect size bait for snappers? That's like perfect size for big snappers. We'll take it. Look at this. Little bitty piece of shrimp. Very small hook, just like that. Here we go. That literally took two seconds from the time it hit the bottom. I was hooked up. Look at that. Snapper time, snapper baits. When I still have my shrimp, that's more of the size I was hoping to catch. So I got two pinfish and I still have two more pieces of shrimp from that one shrimp. So we are definitely increasing our baits here. Increasing our, we're making our $17 go a whole lot further, right? Now, if I wanted to, what I could do at this point is I do have a knife with me. You could take one of those pinfish and cut it up and use the pinfish to catch small pieces of pinfish to catch more pinfish. There he is. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Nice little pinner. Nice little pinfish. I use quite a few of my small shrimp. I got about seven pinfish in there. You know, some of them are just like nice, nice for snappers. So we're going to head out to the end of the pier, see if we can find some snapper snappers down there. Drop that little guy down there and see what happens. Let's move over to this corner right here. I'm just going to flip it down there. Right down around that piling. I found some kind of structure down there. It doesn't feel like a fish. Oh crap. Maybe somebody's got a cast net down there or something. I'm going to hook this guy different. Oh, we had a bite, dude. We had a bite. We had a bite. I think we had a bite. He's got a big snapper chunk out of the top of his head. I thought it was just a uh, something on the bottom. There he is. That's a hit. That's a hit. Come on, get it, dude. Get it. There he is. There we go. Oh, that's a good fish. That's a good fish, guys. That's a good one there. Oh, huge mangrove snapper. A freaking giant. Oh, my goodness. Are you kidding? Wow. Holy buckets on pinfish, guys. On pinfish. That's a giant. Would you look at that right there? That makes $17 worth of shrimp worth it, doesn't it? Thanks for the catch. See ya. Nice. Are you kidding me? That was like a 14 inch snapper. Oh my goodness. Just getting them on the pier, baby. Woo, I felt a little tap, 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 tap. Whoop, gotcha. Yeah, I don't have anything to keep fish today. Um, I'm gonna have to rig up some type of little cooler bag, thermal bag or something that I can bring with me on the bike. But all right, baby, let's get another pinfish and let's get down there and see if we can get another one. Oh yeah. Nice, nice, nice. Well, it's been, <laughs> it's been like an hour since I caught that snapper. I haven't had any hits on the pinfish, so I'm going to go ahead and get my knife out. I'm going to chop up a pinfish into little pieces. See if we can get some snappers that way. The tide is almost ready to stop, but here I got a thought. I've got a few more shrimp, and even if I don't, I could use some pinfish for bait, but I might catch some more pinfish and go out to the beach and see if we can catch some snook on pinfish. All right, well, for now, let's stick with the plan and cut up some pinfish plan today was to catch snappers all right so don't get distracted jc all right we're going to change up the plan definitely 
I'm gonna go back to what I was talking about doing. I'm gonna catch some pinfish, get some fresh water. All right, guys, we're headed out to the beach. I fished for about an hour for pinfish and the tide slowed down. I don't know where the big pinfish went, but they weren't in that same spot. So All right, guys, I definitely got rain coming this way. Definitely got rain coming this way, guys. So I'm gonna have to run for shelter, let the rain pass, and we'll come back out here, see if we can get a snook. All right, guys, I've been under this pavilion for about an hour and uh, it's not gonna clear up, so. I'm going to hop on the e-bike and get out of here. I don't know what's going on with this rain. The radar was showing that we were getting ready to get hit by it. And now it's like going away. So, ooh, a bunch of bait fish down there. Something chasing them. All right, let's get a pen fish on. Let's do it. Got this little pen fish here. Give this guy a little drop somewhere. There's a ton of bait in the water right here. my god he just got hammered he just got hammered there he is there he is he got hammered dude oh there we go that's the snook i've been wanting to get right there didn't have to go to the beach either let's call it a seawall snook oh yeah oh yeah that's a seawall snook there that's a good one guys Man, he, he hit that pinfish like a bolt of lightning. Just BAM! That's a good one. That's a good one. Circle hook got him good. Circle hook got him good. Oh, dude. He is a lot bigger than I thought he was. Nice. Heck yeah. Live bait snook right there, baby. That pinfish, eh, he's probably about what, maybe 22, 21, 22 inch. That's a good one. Hey, thanks for the catch, big guy. Nice, guys. Whoo, guys, he literally hit it like a bolt of lightning. When, when snook hit live bait like that pinfish or mullet, I mean, it is violent because they have to kill it. And it's like, bam, they hit it so hard. When they hit shrimp, they just like suck it in their mouth. You barely feel a tink tink. He was right on the edge of the seawall. I felt the tip of my rod just go bam like that. I was like, oh, that's a snook, no doubt about it. So awesome guys. So this is one of my favorite flats to fish shore fishing. And it's great for the e-bike because I can just pull up here and park. There's no place to park a vehicle and you got to walk a long ways to get here. But this is probably a great time guys to just go ahead and share from the sponsor of our video. It is the Nacto Aqua folding bike and we'll be right back. I want to thank my friend over at Nacto for sending me the Nacto Ox 20 inch fat tire all-terrain folding e-bike. I've been riding this for about two weeks. It is a very, very smooth ride. You've got front and rear brakes, six gears, and five pedal assist modes. This has got a 500 watt motor that peaks out at 750 watts, 52 Nm of torque. Pedal assist, you're just pedaling along flat ground. All of a sudden, you're going up a steep incline. The pedal assist will kick in and make your pedaling effortless. You can run this bike straight electric power, 20 miles an hour, or with pedal assist, 28 miles an hour. It's got a range on one battery charge of anywhere from 22 miles to 60 miles, depending on how much pedaling that you do. It is super lightweight. It's got a 6061, very robust and a lightweight aluminum frame. It's got a very nice wide seat, and it's also got a key in the battery area that if you take that key, turn it off, take the key out, nobody can turn the electric bike on. This was a very easy bike to assemble. Made a few adjustments, and I was ready to ride. All the other e-bikes that I've had, 
It takes a half hour to go through all the steps. Setting up the app, submit your email, do all this, do that, change the settings. They made it really, really easy. And this bike is affordable. Click the link in the description area. Any e-bike that you purchase, use code FISHING60 and you're gonna get $60 off. Thanks Nacto for sponsoring this video. It's companies like you that help keep these fishing adventures going. All right, I got two more pinfish. I just saw two more snook come up on the seawall, so let's get them. We might just pick up a mangrove snapper in here too. Oh, 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 there he is. That's definitely a hit. Definitely a hit. This old dude. Look at that. I just I just said we might pick up a snapper. He cut it in half. I kind of forgot that I'm not using a circle hook. I've got a J hook on here. And I didn't really set the hook, but he, he didn't have the whole thing in his mouth anyway. See if we can get him to take the rest of it. Got one more live pinfish. Oh my goodness. A freaking dolphin? Is that what it was? It, is that the is is that the guy that just ate half of my pinfish? Got one more live, one more live pinfish. We'll save this head. Thing's just a clean cut. Could have been that dolphin little bitty pinfish I want another snooky snooky snook snook snooky oh there he is there he is oh I lost him dang it it was snook on baby Hey, I want to go over the gear that I was using today. I'm actually headed home. I'm exhausted. I've been out here in this 90 degree heat for like five hours today. But yeah, what I was using today was a 4,000 size pin pursuit reel. This is the model four. Um, it's the one that has the power handle on it. 20 pound test braided fishing line. I like the Ashkin fish brand four strand braid. Um, I get it from Amazon. I usually have it linked in the description area. And then the rod that I'm using here is a seven foot long ugly stick elite rod. I was leadered up with 20 pound test fluorocarbon line all day today. And the size hooks that I was using all day today were, um, one aught hooks i switched to the j j hook when i was fishing for snook and then when i was fishing for the mangrove snapper i was using circle hooks so listen had a great time out there today we did catch some fish so thumbs up or appreciated thanks for coming along everybody get out there and go fishing i know i look goofy with my hat don't i life is fun live it see ya